Hey guys, it's Lena from the Land of Gods, and I am back from that rather long break, guys. Didn't anticipate it's gonna be that long, but I'm so happy I took it, and I'm happier that I am back, back to you guys, back to my cards, and back to my reading. This one is for the sign of Leo, my lion, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the first week of August, first to the seventh. Guys, as usual, please remember these are general reading times. Fluid and energies can be reversed. So please take what resonates and leave the rest for others to receive. Lions, I hear we are ready. Okay, then we are ready. We're going to look into the challenge that might present itself this week. The advice and the possible outcome if the advice is followed. We're going to clarify all that. And to wrap up the reading, we are going to take an energy oracle guidance message spirit what is the challenge my lions might face this week around challenge that might present itself for my lions no challenge coming up guys what's going on life is good life is good yeah Seven of Waters. Confusion. What's the confusion, Lions? Too many things on the platter. Which one to go first? Yeah. Seems like somebody has a lot of things coming at one go. And you do not know what to do first. Yeah. What's the advice for my lions stuck in this conundrum state? Really, really confused, not knowing what to do, what not to do, which one to take, which one to let go of, which one to do first, which one to do last. List, make a list, organize yourself, lions. Organize yourself, I hear, okay? Yeah, queen of earth, I see there. And if we do whatever this advice is, what's going to be the outcome? The call. Doing what the divine has mysteriously conspired for you. Look, messenger of air. Yeah, we need to face certain truths. We need to be organized. We need to get things done. I see spreadsheets excel sheets organization is much needed the reason why we are so confused is that we don't really have things organized whether it is you know some paperwork that you need to do it's everywhere but not in one place like you know what to do but it's not really put in a structure and that is the reason it is leaving you a little in your head for those who are entangled in emotions there's some things that you want to do that your heart tells you to do and some things that you are thinking through your head. Now remember, Leos, fire signs, especially you, you think from your heart. So it's very important that you are well tuned when it comes to your head and heart because if you're only going to do what your head tells you to, you're not going to be very happy about that. And you know that about yourself. So whatever call that needs to be taken, organizing your thoughts and organizing your paper and organizing and giving it a structure is much needed. Let's see. Hangman in five of airs. Look, hangman is all about taking the time and thinking about things looking at things from different directions before taking that final call it's a delicate balance that you are maintaining at this point in time very delicate and to be able to perform this act with finesse you need practice Otherwise, you're going to be hanging upside down, literally. Let us clarify. This messenger of air is telling me again and again 
know your truth stand in your truth you need to know your strengths and weaknesses and you need to work upon that you cannot run away from that that is what is leaving you so confused let's clarify seven of water seven of cups standing in the challenge for my lion spirit why do we have the seven of waters okay something new coming up yeah exactly there is not one but multiple things that's coming up and seven of pentacles i see there as i said there is no focus it's all in the air you have it in your head but you're not putting your head down and working on it that's leaving you you know in that conflicted state of mind you want to do it but you don't know how to go about it blah 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 and ace of swords listen you guys need to have that clarity that you are not working on i'm sorry lions i know you don't like being told to do things a certain way because you know you want to do it your own way but there are some things that need to be done the way that they're supposed to be done and that's that's it that's about it you want to start something i see that you want to be on that board we have the three of wands with the nine of swords you are just so in your head as to how to go on that board on that journey of a lifetime you're so much in your head how exactly no wonder you are losing your sleep over it this ace of wands and ace of swords coming together is you trying to start something fiery but having no clarity yeah as clear as daylight i see this message coming in that you need to do some organization leos look at things practice makes a man perfect i hear and this act takes practice and this you cannot do you know just ad hoc it takes time and effort and discipline hangman and five of air as the advice you've been working so so much for whatever this is but now that so many things are kind of falling in place in a way it's overwhelming you you do not know what to do how to go about it well you know as i said organize and that is going to help you get a certain level of clarity look my god so many you gotta look long term we have the emperor nine of wands we have the ten of swords we have okay first let's just see what all we have nine of wands ten of swords page of swords three of swords five of cups the hierophant two of swords eight of swords the lovers and the moon my god four major arcanas right here with the hangman which is also another major arcana lots of heavy advice coming to you do what your heart says as i'm telling you if your heart and your head is not aligned you would not be happy with the final call that you take so please make sure that you do take into consideration not just what is practically viable that practically makes more sense but also where you get to learn something where you know it really brings in joy and there is a certain level of not knowing where it's going right and well you know sometimes we just have to go with our gut that's what you are told because here i see there's just so much of confusion so much of pain not knowing what to do what not to do all of this is just coming in and feeling you know stuck feeling just let down all the confusion just so much of regret of what i did what i did not do there is just so much regret that's gonna come your way if you're not gonna have that heart and head aligned together 
page of swords right here with the knight of swords that messenger of air with the page of air this is all about standing in your truth this is taking a tough call and i know it is not easy leo's want it all you know you are the king of the jungle you want it all it does not really work like that all the time leo's does it no it doesn't so get organized and if you do and consider whatever is practically viable that also kind of speaks to your heart and you're not just shutting your emotions and just doing what is practically making more sense then is when you are going to be able to make that final call we have justice six of wands look four of pentacles right here this is being a little conservative take a balanced call whatever that call is that needs to be taken king of wands eight of cups justice and the six of wands there is no looking back once you have taken that call because clearly it is going to bring you success it is going to be on that path but it's got to be balanced it's not just only heart and it's not only hair as i said it needs to have that fair balance when you are going to take that call and then once you do that there is no looking back here there isn't any looking back and we have another major arcana here we've got quite a lot of major arcana it seems like whatever this call is is going to ask you to shut the doors of the past probably that is the reason why you are so confused because it's a it's a major call that needs to be taken but know that this is if taken with that clarity with that organized you know list of pros and cons and you have done the weighing without going too much into the overthinking that can lead to indecision and regrets then like missed opportunity regret if you all all of that you can save yourself from if you align your head and heart yeah it's not either or it is always and for you mm -mm. you cannot only think from the heart actually you can <laughs> but you cannot think only from the head no it's not it doesn't work like that for leos let's get your final word to wrap up this reading i know leos don't like that to be put in that kind of tight spot where they have to do things the way the world expect them to do because they are free spirit you know out of the box out of the frame kind of people don't like to be in frames so to say but well sometimes you got to do what you got to do simple angel of love look at that angel of love this beautiful angel comes with roses in her hair and rose colored wings she holds a rose quartz heart radiating tender and loving vibrations bringing you compassion and affection if you are looking for new love this angel brings a message of its upcoming approach or if you are longing for a deeper more intimate connection with someone already in your life she's here to say that far greater tenderness is available to you either ways remember that your first intention for tenderness must be directed inwards and the compassion that you demonstrate towards yourself will influence the energetic potential of these events in a significant way the angel of love is smiling on you and forging connections in the energetic realm look through all of this not from that fear of missing opportunities but knowing that 
whatever this is the divine is mysteriously conspiring this in my favor for me not against me and on that note my lions i'm gonna take your leave i thank you all for joining me this week it's a wrap namaste from the land of gods <laughs>